Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 809. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 806 to 811, follow along, click on the link below the video. All right, in this video here, we have a little data set, and it, I just have a little one here, but this could be huge. We have some names and some numbers, and we need to extract a unique list so that we don't have duplicates over in a new workbook and then add with one condition, which means we need to add all of Phil's sales over in that other workbook. All right, so the trick is, when you get over to another workbook, there's going to be a slight complication with advanced filter extract unique records and with uh, using the sum if function. Now before you do workbook kind of uh, calculations, because we'll do a calculation or advanced filter, it's always good to save the two workbooks. So I've created them and saved them. Because they have to, the formulas have to communicate with each other. Uh, all right, so the first trick is advanced filter. There's a great feature. You highlight this range here and say, hey, give me the unique list, and it'll just give you one of each one. But here's the trick. If you're in a new, want to do it to a new workbook, you actually have to start in the new workbook. Now, how am I moving back and forth between these? I'm using the keyboard shortcut Alt-Tab, or you can just however you get back and forth. All right, so the idea is I have to start in the, in the actual uh, second workbook. Now, Advanced Filter, that's in Data. And then here's the Sort and Filter group, and there's Advanced Filter. In earlier versions, 2003, the keyboard shortcut was Alt-FAA. In 2007-10, it's Alt-AQ. Now, when 2007 came out, I basically compared all the keyboard shortcuts I used to use. And if one was shorter in the newer version, I used it. If it was shorter in the older version, I'd use that one. So this one, I'm going to use Alt-AQ, Alt-AQ. Here it is. Here's the dialog box. I'm going to say copy to another location. Copy to where? A1, unique records only. That's the whole key. We're not going to have any criteria. We just want a unique list. You could have mix these two, but here we just want a unique list. And then the list range. You click in this text box, go back over to the other workbook, and then select it. Now you want to be sure and select the field name also. If you don't, if you highlight just the records, you'll have one extra duplicate because it will think that the first name is the field name. All right. So once you have that dialog box looking like that, you click OK. And there it is. So that's advanced filter from a new workbook. The trick is you start in the new workbook. I'm going to insert. So now we want sales. Now, normally, you know, we use the sum if. This is a pretty easy calculation. And actually, if we go over here, I have a whole video that talks just about this problem. But we, you can't really use sum if if you want. Uh, because if you close the other workbook with sum if, it, you'll get an error. So I'm going to use the sum product. And I have that video over there that goes into great detail about that. All right. So can't use sum if because it'll, it, it'll work if the two workbooks are open, but not if they're closed. So I'm going to use sum product. Sum product. Well, I need to identify before I can add all of the fills over in that other workbook. So I'm going to build a true false formula, a true false array. And I'm going to start the array. I'm just going to go like this. Click on that cell, and I say, is anything equal to? And now I have to go over to that other workbook and highlight this range here. Now, you can already see over here that it's got this workbook. And I'm actually going to uh, close parentheses and hit Enter just to talk about this over here. You can see it's easier to see it's bigger. But a workbook reference. Um, in square brackets is the name of the workbook, the sheet reference, and then the cell references. And they're locked by default. You can change those if you need to. We don't need to. So this is a, um, an array of trues and falses. If I highlight this and hit F9, I can see true, false, true, false. But I really need ones and zeros. So the way we convert trues and falses to ones and zeros is any operation. And I'm going to choose double negative. And the reason why is it's faster calculating than multiplying by 1 or dividing by 1. If it's not a big data set, then it doesn't matter. All right, so now when I highlight this and hit the F9, just this piece right here, and hit F9, I got 1s and zeros, And that's what I want. So what that means is in that other workbook, that means true, yes, that row is fill, and this row is fill. 
Control Z. Well, what does the sum product do? Sum product takes multiple arrays and multiplies them. Well, this is a string of zeros and ones. I'm going to type a comma, get to the next array, and then I'm going to click back on that sheet and highlight these. All right, and then I'm going to hit Control Enter. So what's happening here is these ones and zeros, if I hit that and hit F9, F9 evaluates. Now, this is a deadly move I'm about to do. If you actually uh, do this two times in a row, Control Z, which is undo, does not work in edit mode. But I'm going to do it anyway, because then I can hit Escape. And so you can see the logic here. For fill, it's 1 times 4, 0 times 4, because that's not fills. 1 times 5, that's fills. So you can see the pattern. And so that's how it actually calculates the correct answer. Now I'm going to click Escape, because I've hard coded those in. And Control Z works once, but it won't. Control Z, 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 it won't get me back to there. So if you're in edit mode doing F9, be careful of that. I'm going to click Escape. The formula's looking perfect, and I copy it down. So that's just a, a little lesson in you know, how to, you have some data over in one workbook, and you need to do some kind of calculations and uh, extract unique records in another workbook. All right, see you next trip.